alaikum everybody. Welcome to this episode of 1001 American Muslim Nights. So a week ago, I went into an Iranian restaurant that I love and had kind of a unique experience. <laughs> So I went in and I asked for, I went to the guy that thing at the cashier and I said, Asalaamu Alaikum, can I please have one kebab a jujay? This means, can I have one chicken kebab? I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but my friends taught me how to say it, and so I say it. The guy looks at me and says, You, you are forgetting your language. You are forgetting your heritage. You cannot even pronounce kebab a jujay. So I'm like, uh, sir, I'm not actually not. You're not actually caring about your heritage, not actually caring about what your parents went through to get you to this country and to take care of you and to give you every opportunity. So I'm like, sir, I am really sorry, but I am not actually able to, like, you're not able to speak your language because you never tried. You never tried to learn. You are lazy. You are lazy like my children. My children are lazy just like you, and they will be doing nothing in their life just like you. You will be doing nothing. You will never make your parents proud because you do not know your heritage. So I looked at him and I said, but, but sir, I'm just a simple girl who does not know, no, of course you do not know, you do not know the heritage, you do not know the history, you do not know the language, you do not know the struggle, you do not know about the different wars we've had, you do not know your own history, you know nothing, you know nothing, you are a stupid little girl. So finally I looked at him and I just said, Ya ammo, ma baraf ayy lugha ghir arabi wa inglisi, wa anjahdi nijaani, binti akul. And he stopped, and he looked at me, and he said, that wasn't Farsi. I said, no, I was trying to tell you, I'm Arab American, Arab, I don't speak Farsi. I know three words in Farsi, they're good words, they're important words, but I know three words. I know how to say kebab jujje, because that is delicious. I know how to say which means delicious green food and I know how to say fasenjun, which means the most delicious brown food like in the history of the world like if you find a place in the DC area that serves this stuff hit me up and we will go and we will eat that I don't know the words I told him I just know how to ask for food and I was trying to be polite I'm so sorry sir I'm so sorry fine he said just tell me exactly what you said and I'll give you your dinner. I said, well, I said, I only speak two languages. All I know is English and Arabic. And I'm really hungry and I'd really like to eat. Fine, he said, I'm sorry. Let me get you your food. And then I ate my delicious food and everything was fine. But I never learned how to say any other words in Farsi. And I'm sure not going to ask for food in Farsi again because I don't want to make the same mistake and have anyone else think that I'm trying to ignore their language or I'm trying to like ignore my own heritage or confuse me for someone that belongs to their heritage when I'm just a simple Arab American who kind of looks like she belongs to all sorts of different culture because of the whole mixed race thing. Anyway, that's my story, you guys. Have you ever had anything weird like that happen to you? Have you ever been mistaken for being someone else than you really are, or some other identity than you really are? Have you ever had to defend yourself from someone who thought that you weren't good enough in your own identity and who you were? Let me know in the comments, or email, or find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, I'd love to hear what you've been through and if you've had any experiences like that. Okay, that's all for me. Salaam alaikum. Have a great night. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world, by Guidance Residential, the number one Islamic home financer in the U.S., and by Recycle Processes Incorporated.